Hey there guys, it's Joe Allen here with hopefully another photography video and uh, you may be wondering where am I? Well I'm at the top of the Shrine of Remembrance in Melbourne and today I'm out with my camera because I've been kind of cooped up in my apartment coding and doing lots of other projects so I thought I'd come out with my camera. Now I've got to be slightly honest here I don't actually know where I'm going. I've just come into the Royal Botanical Gardens and I'm gonna check out the area and see what photos I can get. So I'm gonna head in this general direction over the park and maybe go around over here where the stadiums are. So I've already been down into the, well, echoey. So I've already been down into the crypt and uh, had a quick look around there. It's pretty dark and it's all about remembering for the soldiers of all the great wars. And now I'm gonna head into the park and uh, maybe catch the sunset. Just for reference, it's about 5 p.m. in September in Melbourne, Australia. So coming into spring, finally some summer. So as I said, I've been stuck in my apartment coding up loads and loads of improvements to my website. And I just generally wanted to come outside, get a bit of fresh air, and uh, bring my cameras. So I honestly don't know what I'm going to shoot today. I don't know what I'm going to find, if I will find something. But I guess the general moral of it is just get out there. Go out with your camera, see what you can find. So I'm here with my 7D Mark II and I've got the 16-35 F4 on today. So I'm going to get some wide shots. So, let's see what we can find. Crutching up walkway. If you're also keen to just get out with your camera and take some photos, my first and top tip once you're outside is to literally get your camera out of your bag. So many times you go out and you'll think, hmm, I'm not sure if there's a shot here. Well, I don't know about this because your camera's in your bag. If you had it in your hand, you take that shot anyway. Chances are, you'll get something good, whether you know it or not at the time. This looks like it might be quite good. Let's have a look. So as I've been walking through the park, I've taken a few shots of things. Nothing's really standing out just yet, but I have just taken a shot of these trees over here. Uh, kind of filling the frame, there's a lot of green going on. I think it might look all right. Uh, may need a bit of an edit though, so a bit of a post-processing job. Not really something straight out of camera, unfortunately. But we'll keep on walking and uh, see what else there is to find. I think we've got about 40 minutes of light left. So I found this mini rainforest walk type thing. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's obviously man-made, but got some nice features, nice trees and stuff. Um, again, not sure if there's really any shots here that are worth anything special, but as I keep saying, the main moral of today is to just get some fresh air, get outside and take some photos. Um, everyone always asks, how do you get better at photography and how do I learn my camera better? And the simple answer is to just go out and shoot photos. I found some proof. Summer is coming. That is blossom. Finally. With all the travelling I've been doing through the north and southern hemispheres at completely the opposite times of the year, it feels like I've just been stuck in an endless cycle of winter. So I'm so happy that summer's on the way. Be able to get out a lot more in uh, nice warm weather. I mean, the cold never really stops me from going out anyway, but it's just a whole lot more enjoyable when you're not dripping with snot and cold and horrible there. So, get the shots on, camera out, off you go. Job done. So I'm not really sure if I've got any shots today. Uh, I'm now down by the riverside on South Bank and we've got all the rowers coming past doing their evening training. And I'm just kind of taking in the sights of the city, really. So yeah, I'm not sure if I got any shots, um, but you should go and check out my blog at joeallen.co.uk if you want to see some more content. I've been producing loads and loads of posts recently, so go and check that out. Likewise, if you've been staying up to date with my travels, then you'll know that I've also got the blog jellyjourneys.com with loads and loads of travel posts. So I guess the main theme of this video is that if you want to improve your photography, the simple answer is to get out and shoot with your camera. I've been doing this for probably 10 years now or so, and uh, that's definitely how I got inspired to keep going out and take photos and do everything. It's only really been in the last couple of years that I've actually been able to do any sort of recognition work with that. So 
The simple answer, and the long answer, is to just always be out with your camera. Now today I've only really been out for about an hour and a half, but I feel good for it. I've been outside, got some fresh air, and I'm using my camera. It's what keeps you a happy life. Or keeps on giving you a happy life. And in the end, I feel good for coming outside, having a bit of a walk, and spending a couple of hours taking some photos. So, if you also want to do that, then I encourage you to go out tomorrow and take some photos as well. Thanks for watching guys, and if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you later. So compared to my recent travel videos, this one's going to be a dedicated photography video. So the general agenda for today is to uh, check out some of the laneways in Melbourne. That's kind of what it's famous for, all these little roads and side streets. 